this video, we're going to take a quick look at multiplying radicals together. Um, so here's a quick example of multiplying two terms together. We have 3 times 2 radical 7. And if you're multiplying two terms that involve radicals, what you need to know is that you can multiply coefficients together, which are numbers that are outside the radical. And you can, number, you can multiply radicands together, which are the numbers inside the radical. So right here, we're multiplying these two together. 3 and 2, those are both outside of a radical, so those can get multiplied together to get 6. And there's nothing to multiply with that 7 because there are no other radicals being multiplied. So 3 times 2 radical 7 is just 6 radical 7. Now what if we threw something else in here? Let's say if we had 3 radical 5 times 2 radical 10. Well, if we're multiplying these together, we have these two coefficients are both outside the radical, so we can multiply those and get 6. And these two radicands are both inside a radical, so 5 times 10 is 50. So we can multiply those together. Now we want to see if we can simplify this any further. So 50, there are perfect squares that go into 50 that we can simplify. If you rewrite this as 25 times 2, then you can take the square root of the 25. Square root of 25 is just 5. Square root of 2 is not a whole number, so we're going to leave that as square root 2. And we'll bring down the 6. So we broke that down to 25 times 2. Took the square root of 25 to get 5. And now we have 6 times 5 radical 2. The 6 and the 5 are both outside of the radical, so we can multiply those together and get 30. And the radical 2 stays in, so we have 30 radical 2. Let's take a look at a couple more examples. Let's look at one that's going to take, in, um, take into account a, a topic that we learned last chapter about multiplying out binomials and polynomials and things like that. So let's say we have square root of 2 times the quantity 3 plus square root of uh, 8. Well, knowing what we know about distribution, what we're doing is taking this, um, this value that's on the outside and we're multiplying that by both terms on the inside. So when we take two, radical 2 times 3, the 3 is outside a radical and the 2 is inside, so they will stay separate like that and get 3 radical 2. Radical 2 times radical 8, those are both inside the radical, so those will stay and get multiplied to become 16. Now let's take a look at each, each of these radical terms and see if we can simplify them any further. 3 radical 2 is as simple as it gets, but the square root of 16, that is a whole number. That's just plain 4. So when we simplify this together, we've got 3 radical 2 plus 4. Let's take a look at one other example where we're taking binomials together. So let's say we have 3 plus radical 2 times 5 plus radical 2. Let's go ahead and multiply those together. Now in class we learned a few different ways to multiply binomials like this. We've learned distributing, we've learned using the box or Punnett square type method. We've learned um, the vertical method. So anything that works for you will work here as well. I'm going to use distribution. So I'm going to take that 3 and distribute it. 3 times 5 will be 15. 3 times square root of 2 will be plus 3 square root 2. Square root 2 times 5 will be plus 5 square root 2. And square root 2 times square root 2 will be plus square root 4. Let's combine the like terms that we have. These two in the middle can be combined. So we have 15 plus 8 radical 2 plus, uh, let's see if we can simplify this. The square root of 4, that is a perfect square. The square root of 4 is just 2, so we'll simplify that to 2. Now we have a 15 and a 2. Let's combine those together to get 17. So altogether this will simplify to 17 plus 8 radical 2. 